Live, this is 24 Hour News 8. You may want to quell the excitement over news of those high-end grocery stores coming to Grand Rapids. One brand says, no, they're not coming. One's not returning our calls. 24 Hour News 8's Joe LaFergie is here with this story. Joe? Yeah, Brian, we've been tracking the possibility of Whole Foods and Trader Joe's for a couple of years now, the possibility of them coming here to West Michigan. There's always been speculation, but nothing official. So we were surprised when Collier International made the announcement yesterday to a trade organization conference here in Grand Rapids. After all, places like Austin, Texas-based Whole Foods, which is already has presence in suburban Detroit, and California-based Trader Joe's, which also has stores in and around the Motor City, are unique and tend to create a lot of buzz. Well, today came the buzz kill. A Trader Joe's spokesman releasing a short statement saying Grand Rapids is not in their two-year store plan, despite calls and emails to corporate folks at Whole Foods, we have not heard back. Now, if you go to stores under development section on the Whole Foods webpage, Detroit is the only city listed in Michigan. The company is building their first store within the city limits. That is opening later this summer. In studio control, Joe LaFergie, 24 Hour News 8. Thank you, Joe. All of this caused us to wonder more about the announcement that the global clothing retailer, H&M, would be setting up shop in Grand Rapids. And 24 Hour News 8, Steve Kelso has that part of the story tonight. Steve? Well, Sue, like Joe LaFergie, I had a difficult time getting all the answers today as well about the trendy retailer's alleged entry into the Grand Rapids market. I contacted the company's world headquarters in Sweden this morning. I don't speak Swedish, so with some difficulty, I was eventually given two phone numbers for public relations contacts in the United States. It was the last time I actually spoke to someone from the global retailer, despite leaving six separate voicemails during the day. So I took my questions to Collier's International, the firm that dropped that development bombshell yesterday. No idea. But you can confirm that they're going to Woodland Mall. They are in process of those negotiations to go to Woodland Mall. All right, but so nothing's signed, nothing's official at this point. Uh, to my knowledge, nothing is signed. Um, and, but that's where they want to go. They have been looking at for quite some time, and that's uh, where they are telling me they want to go. A Collier's International tells me they have no business relationship with H&M or Trader Joe's or with Whole Foods for that matter. They say they are simply reporting things they have learned during their co normal course of business. I left three voicemails with our contact at Woodland Mall today. All remain unreturned. Sue? Okay. Thank you, Steve.